Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. We're going to tune around uh, a little higher frequencies. We're going to see the 20 meter band on the Texan H501X. And it is uh, at this time a 0135 UTC. And we're going to check out what's happening on the 20 meter band. We're going to go up. We're going to go through 15 megahertz also, see what's on the 19 meter band. So we're going to continue like from 14,000 to 16,000 kilohertz. So of course uh, this is the uh, 20 meter band, so we're going to tune in upper side band because that's what we have. Uh, first of all, everything in the amateur band is in side band or almost everything. So let's start tuning around. This is FT, uh, uh, FT, this is PSK31, so this is a digital mode, you can decode with FLDG, PSK31. This is FT8, so this is also something you can decode with WSGTX. This is FT4, a, uh, we could say a shorter version of FT8, but it's FT4. So we've reached the end of the 20 meter band, it stops at 14,350, but since 14,350 up to 15,000 kilohertz is utilities, uh, I'm going to stay in upper side band. It will be easier for me to see if there's a signal or not on the band. This is a uh, 
this is a type of radar, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, that you hear. This is a Stanag signal, which is a type of signal uh, that is a digital signal between uh, NATO members. Fourteen nine two seven is a frequency to note. It's one of the frequencies I often hear the Civil Air Patrol uh, communications coming through. So uh, monitor this frequency, fourteen nine two seven regularly. WWV, Denver, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado, sorry. Hour, 44 minutes. Coordinated universal time. So now we're entering the uh, 19 meter band. I am going to tune the first part in upper sideband to uh, see what's on because there are some utilities there. And then there's two choices when you tune around the 19 meter band when you're not sure what's going to be on. You can stay in sideband. If you noticed, you can hear a carrier. So that tells me around 15100 there's a station. And if I was not on sideband, I could easily miss that there was a very weak station there. So using single sideband definitely helps in tracking down very, very weak signals. Signal coming off of China, probably. And there we go, to sixteen thousand kilohertz. Propagation tonight has changed slightly because. We don't hear uh, WRMI and 15770 was coming in quite well about half an hour ago, so there's quickly changing propagation tonight. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the little tuning. There's not a lot of signals in there, but, you know, uh, it's not sometimes always uh, something that is easy to do. It's not because I did it now and it doesn't look like there's a lot on that you shouldn't do it tomorrow or the, in an hour. It's the way that you find signals. If you do it regularly, you'll be rewarded with a lot of other signals as time goes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.